It's a little squirrel. All right, if we can just snag that and... Oh, he got away. Oh, but there's a fish. All right, come on, Mossy. Those fish are proving to be really yummy. Okay, we got the fish. We got the fish. We got the fish. Come here, fish. Oh my gosh, this river stream is so strong. Maybe we don't have the fish. Come here, fish. Oh my gosh, that was a little intense. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Cat Tales of the Alpha version. And we are... Chester, Chester, be careful. Dang it, everybody else is a much better swimmer than we are. And we are here with our young Mossy, who is very proud to say that she has been using her spy skills to really develop a lot of control for her forest colony clan uh, here in the wild, wild world that she happens to live in. And it seems like Canyon Creek has actually fallen 60% in our control, 40% in mountain, which is why we just saw one of our fellow uh, fellow colony mates go by. But before Mossy goes on her big mining expedition with Mullo the Mole today, we're gonna use this here diplomacy skill. Dun, 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 dun! That's such a cool skill. In order to give a lot of influence to the forest colony. Just like that, mountain only has 15% influence. So if we could just get our paws on some more lavender, we might be able to take this area over some more or win a fight, but we're gonna focus on fighting another day. Today is finally the day that Mossy is going to wiggle inside of the canyon cave, and we are going to snag some of these blueberries that we have collected. And we're gonna send Mossy down so that she can do a little bit of digging in the mine. I'm not sure how full, oh, we probably don't want our inventory this full, actually. <laughs> and let's go ahead and eat the fish that we caught. Uh, we, yeah, we probably definitely don't want our inventory this full, so I probably should have emptied it back at home, but I'm, I'm really eager to go ahead and do some exploring in the mines. We've been doing a really good job with Mossy so far too, because she's spent a lot of time uh, working around her territory and helping her fellow clan mates actually, or oh, I keep calling them clan mates, even though we're not playing warrior cats, we're playing cattails. But she's been helping the rest of her colony with fighting back a little bit against the mystics and the mountains who have been very, very dangerous. They've really threatened the lives and the well-being of a lot of the cats in our colony. And like a couple times we almost died to fighting to them. But actually the thing that almost, almost killed us the most was the fact that we almost drowned. So Mossy does need to learn to swim, but I think she's a little nervous. So we'll put that off for another day. And there we go, drop all of those little treasures down. And I think this is okay, because we're supposed to run into bats in the mines and we want to have some food. So I actually think I'll leave behind like one of the marigolds. We'll leave behind a couple of the marigolds and this will be our secret stash. This is Mossy's secret supply of food to be able to see her through the cave system. And I'm very excited. We have been saving. Oh yes, and it's a little harvest mouse. <gasps> we can give that to Scout. Come back here, little harvest mouse. Oh, dang it, he tripped me. All right, come back here. Come back here, I wanna catch you. I wanna catch you and I wanna give you to Scout because we're trying to, we're trying to be a little flirty with Scout, but he's just not having it. Hey, hey, come on, come on, little thing. Get into that back corner and stay there. Hey, man, never mind. This harvest mouse is definitely proving itself. How can Mossy, she loves chasing things into these corners so that we can hunt them. But how are we supposed to hunt them if she just, Mossy, catch it for crying out loud. Oh my gosh, this mouse. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me, little mouse. Okay, here, let's try this. Maybe he won't know we're coming finally. All right, wait for it, wait for it. Face your doom! What are you doing, you silly thing? How dare you try to escape me so many times? This is a cave, where do you think you're gonna go? Into the water? Well, fooey on you. Okay, Mossy really needs to learn to swim if a mouse just outswam her. <laughs> All right, never mind on the mouse. Clearly Mossy needs to learn to swim and we're gonna dive on in. <gasps> Canyon mine level one. All right guys, we're here. Oh, I have no idea what we're supposed to do. Apparently, oh my gosh, this is so cool. If we scratch at the tall rocks. Okay, so we picked up some rock debris and apparently it uses up our hunger to be down here, so we wanna be really careful. <gasps> There's a path down, so we can descend the staircase. This is so cute! It's mining as a cat! Oh, what did we just find? Okay, I think we found, oh, there's another spot. More rock debris. Let's go ahead and descend the stairs. This is so cute. I love this. All right, more rock debris. Hopefully we'll be able to find some cool gemstones while we're down here. All right, and it looks like everything just like randomly generates. So some patches you're not able to reach. And let's see, nothing there. 
Hmm, we'll grab a little bit of rock debris. I really want to find our first gemstone. I feel like, oh, there's a little mouse, yes! Food, that is really useful. Let's go ahead and eat it. I mean, technically we would want to try to save that for a certain special someone to give the scout and pretend our sneaking skills are that good. They're not that good, but not just yet. I wonder if you can actually get to the point where you can't descend any deeper. Let's see. So there's all those rocks. We can't reach the rocks over there. Can I go any further? Aha! And you gain a little bit of experience for all of this digging too, which is pretty useful. All right, there we go, there we go. And then there's the bat. Okay, I think we want to avoid the bat. What we're looking for are more ways down. And I think the deeper you go, maybe the more rare gemstones we can find. Right now, I feel like that mole is lying to us. I'm not finding any any precious gemstones just yet. Oh, well, let's keep going though. Pretty exciting that we keep getting to go further and further down. All right, what about this one? Nope, nothing there. Just more rock debris. Don't think we need to pick up every piece of rock debris. Come on, gemstones. Oh, that's one of the mole coins. Okay, and we need to we need to look over at the mole's coins and see if there's anything in particular that we might want to keep too. Just in case he happens to sell something. There's a light down here, how cool. All right, more rock debris. I wonder, is the rock debris like, let's look at it. Uh, Let's see, a chunk of rock with a trace amount of ore. Interesting. Well, we probably don't need to pick up any more. I'm not even sure if he'll like let us sell that to him. But we need to destroy these little rocks. Hang in there, Mossy. Let's go ahead and feed you. We're gonna eat this blackberry. The blackberries are actually pretty good. They can't, they can never make up for real food, but hey, gotta do what a cat has to do sometimes. All right, what if we run, use our little sprint skill when we can to peck these open really quickly? Is it gonna be, it's always like the last one I'm searching to be able to get down. All right, come on, come on, shiny things, come on. Shiny, shiny things, I wanna put shiny things. There's a bunch of rock debris. I wanna put shiny things inside of my den. Where are the shiny things? I think it's, it's a little funny that if we're really honest with ourselves, we probably could get along with Missy quite a bit more than we, in, than we think we could she probably likes shiny things just as much as we do. All right, let's try eating another blueberry, or blackberry, excuse me. Hmm, not a mouse, not a trace of anything. Ah, and deeper into the mines. I wonder if like, you just want to go super deep right away. Hmm, I'm, I'm starting to get to the point where I don't want to leave a rock behind because it's gonna turn out to be like that last rock that we needed. All right, let's do. There's another of the mole points. Oh, there's a way down. Okay. I just have like this gut feeling that maybe once we reach level 10, that's where the real action starts. Oh good, then we found the stairs. All right, canyon mine level 10. Ooh, there's level 11 already. Uh, whoops, no, 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 stay here. There we go. That was good. All right, wiggle down to the next one. Uh-oh, there's a bat, there's two bats. And some rock debris. Oh, there's the path down already. Well, that bodes well. Oh, and the rock type has changed. <gasps> that has to bode well, guys. Maybe that means we're, <gasps> we found iron ore. Oh no, and we're starting to starve. Quick, 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 eat, eat, eat. All right, there we go. We'll have to leave pretty soon, but we found iron ore. Interesting, maybe good for the mole, but I want something shiny. But I guess that means if you wanna find like the real rare and shiny stuff, probably your chances are better to go deeper and deeper instead. So let's try this. The mine level 12. I'm a digging cat today, but that's because we're on the search for shiny things. Good. And just the deeper we dive, the better things probably will be. I just really hope like the path down doesn't turn out to be one of the rocks that we can't reach. Uh oh. All right, prepare ourselves for battle. Oh, it's a bell battle. It's not just a little battle. This bat, this bat, come back here bat. Oh my gosh, he's like actually battling us. It's a defensive bat. Take this, oh, and he doesn't even drop his body as food. <gasps> Noted. All right, let's see. Anything else I can gather? Oh, some more iron ore. All right, guys. I think we've learned this is definitely, definitely a spot I want to come and investigate more. 
but probably definitely a spot for a rainy day too because I do want to take over some of the territory hmm and I wonder if there's like I need to investigate that temple and I wonder if there's like regular events that you might need to participate in it'd be interesting if the mayor sometimes could like give you some tasks and like you could have individual reputation that goes up with your colony all right let's try to wiggle away from that bat but if you had individual reputation with each colony so that you could rise higher in the ranks and maybe have access to different perks and skills. And that would also give you like a daily task that the clan would need you to do. Or excuse me, the colony would need you to do. All right, take this, Pat. Take this. You think you can fight me? Hey, back off. Back off. There we go. Or bat off. Bat off. How about that, huh? I really want to defeat this bat now because we've, we've engaged in battle. We've exchanged. There we go. We've exchanged aggressions. And we'll look a little bit further. I'm starting to run low on food, for sure. Uh, because I only have a couple black mares left. <laughs> Darn! Alright. And we're gonna have to use our healing items, too. See, I wonder if the blackberries, we get a boost on how much they fill us up because of our forging skill. That'd be pretty useful. Alright, we'll go down one more level, maybe two more levels. We're at level 15. I can't go much further because of our hunger. I think we've been lost in the mines for like days <laughs> and let's see rush this way oh no I don't want to be I don't want to be attacked by the bat I don't have the I don't have the time to be attacked by bat okay we found another piece of iron ore I feel a little bit I feel a little bit lit on by that mole mm -hmm. I'm not finding any treasure so I think Mossy's probably pretty annoyed she might come out and like threaten to eat the mole like hey you said there were shiny sparkly gemstones Oh, all right, we'll go down a little bit more. We have just a teeny bit of hunger and energy left, but I can't let her get hurt just digging around for these things. All right, let's see. Anything? Anything else? Just these rock debris bits and pieces? Come on. The mole said there were real gemstones here. I think that he may have been a liar, guys. It'd be cool if you could have like special rock claw skills that would let you go through these a little faster. Oh, there's another piece of iron ore. So we gathered up that at least to take back to the mole. Do I have any more food? Zero food left. I need to use another one of my marigolds to heal up from that bat encounter. And it'd also be cool if you could like improve your hit points, I think. If you could improve your stamina skill or like how much you can battle. Let's see how far you could take things. We're so close to level 20 and who knows, maybe that's where the gemstones are. Curiosity is gonna kill this cat though. So, all right, we've gotta defeat this little cluster of rocks. Uh-oh, all right, we'll get away from the bat. We'll defeat this final cluster of rocks. Oh, she's like 20% hungry. Ah, she's starving. Okay, and now we gotta get out of here. We're gonna go ahead and return to the surface. Darn it. Ah, digging around with the mole. Let's visit the mole. All right, let's see. So he does have the ability to warp here, which would be pretty darn useful. So we might want to save up our mole cash for that. And he does have the Siamese coat colors and the eye patches and the top hats. So we'll remember that, but let's see. Uh, I, I guess, I guess that he, I guess that, what can we do with the iron ore? Huh, that's interesting. So I guess now we just have, I guess we could sell that to Ember maybe. All right, well, let's go down. We're gonna eat, we'll go see what Ember thinks about our new iron ore and all of this stuff. At least we have our secret supply of, of blackberries that we can go ahead and kind of feast on. Uh, I think we ate the mouse that we were going to actually give to Scout, unfortunately. And we'll use the golden seal just to make sure. There we go, that should see us home. We'll leave this little, well, I'll take the catnip actually so we can sell that. And there we go. I feel, I feel kind of, I feel kind of, uh, Kind of like my attention was catnapped. I don't feel like the mole played fair. I feel like uh, he implied all these precious gemstones and yet it was very difficult to actually dig around down there. Hmm, so we're gonna have to think about that. Oh, and also while we have the diplomacy skill. Uh, there's a contested area, what? All right, well we have the diplomacy skill. Let's go ahead and 100% take over the Forest Canyon Creek area that we were just at. Because just because the mole didn't give us the really fantastic gemstones that we wanted just yet, I don't want him possibly giving it to anyone else. And look at that, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, and we're like, how are we losing this chunk of fallen giant territory to the mountain-like colony? That's pretty amazing. 
Are we about to walk into a battle? Okay, we're about to walk into a battle. Let's do our best. We're gonna hopefully be able to fight a little bit. Can I improve our fighting skill? Yes, I can! Let's do it, guys! We're gonna improve our fighting skill at least one level. Sweet. And maybe now. Come on, Dave. There's a battle raging. Come on, Dave. It's serious. Ah! All right. Take this, Elaine. Ooh, look at that. Now we can do three damage. And the rest of the call. Yeah, we won. The rest of our whole group was behind us. That was fantastic. All right. And we definitely got a little bit of damage, though. So we need to eat. We need to eat some more of the herbs to heal up. Oh, and there's a frog. Can I catch that frog, actually? Oh, darn. He ran off on me. All right. Well, guys, that was adventurous. I wasn't really sure what to expect inside of the cave system. And I'm a little bit like... I know there's probably precious gemstones hiding somewhere deep in there. I just don't know where. But let's see if maybe we can turn all of the iron ore we gathered into a bell. A nice little bell that we can get from Ember. So let's go ahead and sell the items. The rock debris at least sells for one. And dang it, the iron ore just sells for one too. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, that definitely we will sell the catnip as well. Definitely wasn't the most... Uh, profitable of events but we now have 100 muse and i like the idea that possibly we can come over to ember and we can say our adventure inside of the cave system actually has turned into dun 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 the bell the cute little bell accessory that we can give to mossy i like the idea that ember was like hang on and like turned some of the the scraps of the metal into a cute little necklace for us so we're gonna do that and then next time we will upgrade our inventory expansion so let's go ahead and grab that there we go, there we go. I'm so excited, where's our little bell? How do I put it on? Am I wearing it? Uh, change, uh, do I have my little accessories? <gasps> Look, you can select your accessories from over here. Oh, I'm all done, I'm all done. Oh my gosh, we have a bell! That's so cute, I love it. It'd be kind of fun if it rung a little bit, but then it would chase all of our prey away. All right, I am 100% in love with this bell. This is adorable. And we're still struggling to keep our health really high up. So, oh, hello, Mayor. Uh, if you, have you been down to Ember shop recently? There's always plenty of interesting things to buy. You can sell anything you don't want or need for a good bit of cash. Local businesses like that are what keep Forest Colony thriving. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. And we do want to come down and start working a little bit more with Doc to get healed up. So I think what we may start doing is we'll start bringing plants and putting them around him to say that we're helping with building a nice big garden, a really big garden where the, uh, let's go ahead and eat as well, where he'll, we'll be able to gather up healing plants with him because we're good. We're, we're a little spy. We even have our little bell now. And so we we should start investigating some of the other areas. I want to see how far we can go in. In fact, I want to see if we can use our diplomacy and our really cool lavender to possibly take over another cat's main colony area. That might be really interesting. We should probably set our sights on steadily expanding our territory influence and definitely on investigating that sacred temple next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.